If I were to ask which are the two most well-known mainstream supercar brands, you'd probably say Ferrari and Lamborghini, right? And if I were to take that a step further and say which of those two supercar brands, Ferrari and Lamborghini, do you prefer, what would you say? Hold that thought. Today we're going to provide you with five reasons why we believe you should choose Ferrari over Lamborghini. Ferrari and Lamborghini are two of the most successful and well-known supercar brands in the marketplace, with Ferrari selling around 13,600 cars in 2023, and conversely Lamborghini selling around 10,100 in 2023. Most supercar aficionados would fall into either of the two camps, Ferrari or Lamborghini, and today we're going to fan those flames by providing you with five reasons why we believe you should choose Ferrari over Lamborghini. The five reasons we're going to provide aren't prioritised in any particular order, but if you feel they should be, let us know what you believe your order would be in the comments below. The first item on our list is the Ferrari Customization Programme. Ferrari implements a two-tier customization programme known as Atelier and TaylorMade, whereas Lamborghini conversely has the single programme called Ad Personum. The Lamborghini Ad Personum programme allows you to customise your Lamborghini from a set list of options, but you can still customise your materials and you can customise the type of carbon fibre you want and of course the external bodywork colour. Now conversely, Ferrari uses a similar program with its Atelier where you can go into a dealership and you have a special Atelier room where you can choose your different fabrics and your different bodywork colours and your different interior carpet colours etc. And again, you're choosing from a definitive set of lists, but Ferrari goes one step further than Ad Personum and Atelier with its tailor-made program. With the tailor-made program, you can pretty much customise any aspect of your Ferrari that you choose and that your heart so desires. You can choose to customise the fabric, the, the colour of the fabric on the interior. You can choose to customise the external bodywork colour from any type of colour you want. I believe they'll actually do a specific colour match. You can take any colour in and they will match that to any of your requirements. And in addition, the Ferrari TaylorMade programme includes you travelling to the Ferrari headquarters at either Maranello, New York or Shanghai. And in those different locations, you have a special tailor-made room where you go into that room and it is set up just bespoke for you to choose all your different options to customize your Ferrari to your heart's content. And you have people there specifically from Ferrari who can help you choose your different options. Now, when I say with a tailor-made program, you can choose any external bodywork color you want. Well, I believe they don't allow you to choose pink. They say because that's not in their brand cachet. So that's damaging, perceivably damaging their perception of the brand. You can of course choose to have your car resprayed later on pink, but I believe they still don't allow you to choose pink. Go figure. The TaylorMade program, as you can see, goes extensively further than the Lamborghini Ad Personum program. With the Ferrari TaylorMade customization program, you can have pretty much anything customized on the car. You can choose whatever external bodywork color you want. You can choose whatever type of fabric you want and color for the interior of the car, but it's gonna cost you. For example, look at this F12 TDF here, and this is resplendent in a bespoke Hawkeye Loro Piana interior. You just couldn't get that sort of customization with the Lamborghini Ad Personum program. And looking at this 812 that has rally inspired headlights in the front grille, you couldn't again have that type of customization with the Ad Personum program. In addition, looking at this rear luggage storage location for this F12, it's resplendent in this beautiful wood paneling. You'd think that had been designed and manufactured by the bespoke boat manufacturer, Riva itself. Pretty impressive. And again, something you couldn't do with the Ad Personum program. Also, with the TaylorMade program, you can have your text styled in any type of calligraphy format. In effect, you can go to your heart's desire, but it's gonna cost you. You get the idea. The TaylorMade program provides a substantial step forward above its Atelier program and of course above the Ad Personum Lamborghini program. So the second reason on our list is Ferrari ownership heritage. Ferrari used to be owned by the Fiat Chrysler Group but Fiat Chrysler separated away from Ferrari in 2016 and the company is now owned predominantly by the public. So the public owns 67% of the company a company called Exor NV, which is owned by the descendants of the Fiat Group, own around 23% of the company, and Ferrari's second son, Piero Ferrari, owns around 10% of the company. So we can see there that predominantly the company is publicly owned. That makes a lot of difference. 
Conversely, if you look back at the heritage of Lamborghini, it's been owned by some substantial large corporations. So going back early in the days, it was owned by the Chrysler Corporation and then by Micom Setco and then by VPOW Corporation. The VPOW Corporation sold Lamborghini in 1998 to the Volkswagen Group, putting it under the control of Audi. So of course, as we all know, Lamborghini is now controlled and owned by Audi under the Volkswagen Group. It's a very different situation when you've got a supercar company that is owned by a large Volkswagen corporation group as opposed to mostly being publicly owned like Ferrari is. And adds for a lot of cachet with the company being publicly owned as opposed to being owned by a large corporation. And this is why Ferrari can command a price structure such as charging 400,000 pounds for their Ferrari utility vehicle, the Parasangue, whereas Lamborghini charge around 250,000 pounds for their 4x4 Urus. That is what brand cachet brings. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, very, very important for our channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing. Now back to the video. The next reason on our list is brand cachet. And I alluded to this a little bit earlier when I was talking about ownership heritage. Ferrari was inaugurated in 1947. Lamborghini was inaugurated in 1963. Ferrari released its first car in 1947. And Lamborghini released its first car in 1964, which was the 350 GT. Now looking at the initial cars produced by Lamborghini, the 350 GT and the 400 GT, they look very similar to Ferrari. So you could say Fruscio Lamborghini poached those sort of styling ideas from Ferrari. And that's why later on he decided to put a young team together to create the Lamborghini Mura. But that's something for another story. And if you want more details on that video, then put the description in below because we've just recently reviewed and driven a Lamborghini Mura. So for Lamborghini to be able to compete with Ferrari, it produces a whole breadth and length of additional models on the same chassis platforms. At the time of recording this video, Ferrari produces around 13 different models, whereas Lamborghini only produced the three, the Huracan, the Rev Vuelto, and the Urus. And to be able to compete with Ferrari, Lamborghini produces all different variants of those models. So for example, for the Huracan, you've got the initial model, the Huracan, then you've got the Performante, then you've got the Evo, then you've got the STO, the Technica, and then lastly, the Storato. So they create a whole different varying levels of model using the same chassis structure to compete with Ferrari. So when looking at the Huracan model range there, you can see that they create six different model variants to compete with Ferrari. And that's not including the spider variants of those models. Compare this to Ferrari, and Ferrari create a supercar range and the GT range. And in general, they create two or three variants of each of those models. So if we look at some of the supercars and GT variants that Ferrari create, you've got, for example, with the 458 Italia, the 458 Spider, and the 458 Speciale. And then for the 812, you've got the 812 Superfast, the 812 GTS, and the 812 Competizione. It's not such good brand cachet to create so many different model variants across the same platform as Lamborghini do, whereas Ferrari create different versions of cars, different versions of supercars, and different versions of GTs. Of course, Ferrari create their specialized editions of their cars as well, what they call the Vergiani Speciale, hence the 458 Speciale. The next item on our list of reasons why you should choose Ferrari over Lamborghini is motorsport heritage. Ferrari has a legacy motorsport heritage. Lamborghini doesn't have a motorsport heritage. In 1929, Enzo Ferrari initially founded the Ferrari Scuderia racing program. And off the back of that, he then founded the Ferrari sales program for the reasons of homologation and to fund his racing teams. The whole reason Fruscio Lamborghini founded Automobili Lamborghini was through a feud with Enzo Ferrari. In effect, Enzo Ferrari called Fruscio Lamborghini a tractor driving farmer, and that fueled Fruscio Lamborghini to go off and create Automobili Lamborghini in direct competition with Ferrari. So there would be no Lamborghini without Ferrari. And of course, the key motorsport heritage for Ferrari is their F1 championships. At the moment, they have 16 F1 championships, which is the most of any F1 constructor. And of course, Ferrari are now the Le Mans hypercar champions. And the hypercar division is the most prestigious sector within the Le Mans racing program. We were very fortunate because we were actually there at Le Mans to watch Ferrari win the centenary year, a very, very special year for Ferrari to gain back the Le Mans trophy. Incidentally, we covered that off in our European trip. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link in the description below. The last item on our list and perceivably the most important is Ferrari styling and design. In effect, the looks, the sheer looks of the Ferrari. Up to the Ferrari 458 and the Ferrari F12, 
Ferrari used the styling houses Pininfarina and Bertone. Ferrari is a much classier brand than Lamborghini, whereas Lamborghini is a lot more flamboyant, a lot more outgoing, choosing to capture people's eyes in a more flamboyant way, whereas Ferrari is more haute couture, more stylized and, and less in your face. Whereas, of course, one of the major design languages of Lamborghini is its massive overt wings and its styling canards that it uses to direct the airflow down the side of the cars. Ferrari also prioritizes paint over stripes, whereas Lamborghini conversely prioritize stripes over paint. Ferrari uses a specialized paint shop called Zanasi behind their Maranello factory to be able to spray the bespoke stripes on their cars and then they lacquer over the top of those stripes. When you look at other cars such as the Lamborghini STO, the STO can come with a stripe pack. So you could fit a stripe pack to a 300,000 pound STO Lamborghini that isn't something that Ferrari would do. You only have to look at cars like the 812 Competizione and the Aventador SVJ for comparisons. You can see there that the Lamborghinis are a lot more overt, a lot more flamboyant, a lot more in your face, whereas the Ferrari is a lot classier brand, a lot more haute couture. There's a lot more brand cachet there. Also, Ferraris are built more robustly. If you look at how the Lamborghinis were constructed back in their early days, the Lamborghini Mura and the Lamborghini Countach, for example, the frameworks, the chassis are very much like kit cars. Whereas if you look at the early Ferraris that were around that same period of time, like the 275 and the 330 GT, they're a lot more robust and they're stylized is a lot classier. Very different brands and they are, in my opinion, at the polar extremes of their type of brand cachet. And of course, the one exception to the rule there is the iconic, groundbreaking, timeless design of the Lamborghini Miura. The Lamborghini Miura is classed as the genesis of supercars, and we were very fortunate to be able to review and drive a Lamborghini Miura P400 recently. So there you have it, our five reasons why we believe you should choose Ferrari over Lamborghini. Do you agree with me? Did I miss some items? Let me know in the comments below.